What's going on, family? It's your brother Robert coming at you again with another daily devotional. So today we're going to be in Micah chapter 4, verse 2, coming from the topic teaching to walk. Again, the topic is teaching to walk. Micah chapter 4, verse 2 from the English Standard Version, which reads like this. And many nations shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. So Micah is a very interesting book. It is a book where the prophet is speaking to the people of Israel and telling them that they are living foul and that God is going to bring judgment upon them from Babylon. And preceding chapter four, we see some of the accusations that God is bringing up against the people about how they are being in, unjust to, to women, to widows, to orphans, and, to, and treating people poorly, poorly and cheating others. But in chapter four, we see a abrupt um, acceleration in the text. He begins to talk about the latter days, the days after they've been in captivity, the days after they'd come back to the land, the days way, way, way into the future, even future for us. And in this text, it, he tells us that not only during those latter days will people elevate the mountain of Israel or Zion or Jerusalem to be exact, but people will come to that place and they will learn what the Lord teaches so that they can walk correctly in his path. How many of us out there have ever seen a young child, or maybe we had our own kids, and when they first learn to walk? If you remember, they may, be, they may have just started to stand up, pulled themselves up on a couch, and maybe they took a step or two and then fell down. And then they maybe took a couple more steps and then they fell down. And, and then maybe you see them at some point in time later, they pulled themselves up and they walked across the whole room. And everybody was excited and joyful and screamed like, yay, they're walking, they're walking. And we get so excited when we watch a child walk. And I believe that in these latter days, the Lord is going to have that same response for the nations. As the nations seek him out and as the nations learn to walk after him, I imagine the Lord is yelling and screaming joyfully. They're walking. They're walking after me. But guess what, brothers and sisters? We don't have to wait until then. That day doesn't have to be in the latter times for us. That day doesn't have to be future for us. That day can be right now. Because the Lord has given us 66 books that we can use to walk after him today. 66 books that teach us his ways so that we can walk after him today. We don't have to wait until then. We don't have to wait for the nations. We can do it right now. <laughs> do it right now. So the question I want to pose for you today, and it's a, it's a big question. Where are you not walking after the Lord. Where are you not walking after the Lord? Let me encourage you to ask the Lord to give you the strength to walk after him. Ask the Lord for him to teach you the right way and to give him and to give you the strength to walk after him. Because as I said, we don't have to wait for the nations or the latter days. We can do it right now. So with that, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this text in Micah that shows us what the future is going to look like. A future where people and the nations are going to want to serve you. We yearn and we long for that day to come. But until then, Lord, help us to be people that walk after you now. To learn from your word and to walk after what it says. We love you, Lord. We praise you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for more daily devotionals. God bless.